only going to know so far it's been very powerful it's been very effective because thousands of people got healed or transformed whether it was emotional healing physical healing or spiritual awakening but only time will tell at the end of my career i can look back and see was i effective or not uh, what was the results we don't know yet we have to wait to, to all the way to the end and then we'll find out maybe it was a total waste of time who knows maybe not So I welcome you all on this platform, whether you're with us on the Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I welcome you with all my heart, and I find it my duty that I also share with you and give you what I got from these beautiful, awakened, enlightened beings from that shine their grace on me and I don't know if I did anything to deserve it because I have no recollection of my past doings but somehow through the grace I happened to be there and I received it so I can't even give myself any credit that I did something good in the past and I got this it just happened. Let me tell you why your story doesn't exist and it's irrelevant. We go through our life, our lives, thinking that time is and our life the moments are connected to each other. So it's running through a horizontal line. So it is the past, it is the present, it's in the future. So something is moving in that direction. That's what it seems to be. It looks like it. But that's an optical illusion. The moments of life are not connected to each other. There's absolutely no connection between last second and this second. They're not connected to each other at all. The moments of life, they're vertical. They're vertical moments. So each moment happens, tack, then the next moment, tack, it's finished, then the next moment, the next moment, the next moment. Like when you're playing piano, the chips are not connected to each other. There's a gap in between. When you're playing piano, the keyboards, that's the correct word for it, they're not attached to each other. They're next to each other, but they're not attached to each other. There's a hairline of separation in between them the keyboards of the piano. Even the keyboards on your computer, they're not attached to each other. Each A, B, C, D, whatever you're going through, they're not connected to each other. So same thing is the moments of life, they're not connected to each other. Each moment happens in here and now and it's completely disconnected from the previous moment and the future moment. And each moment only happens once, only one time in the entire existence of, of humanity. This moment is the only time it happens and then it's gone forever. So where is it now? Where is last moment? Where is a minute ago? Where, where do you find it? Yes, we are videoing this, 
and of course you can come and refer to the video but in life when you're living your life you're not videoing every moment of your life so where are those moments where is this morning when you woke up and you got out of the bed, you made your tea, coffee, you went and showered, you got ready and did everything. Where is that? Where are those moments? Where did they go? Is there a record of it? Can you re rewind the tape and go back and watch it? It only is in your memory. That's all there is. Same as your past. Everything that has happened in your past it's only in your memory and you don't even have a complete recording of it. You remember some parts of it. Do you remember what you had for lunch last week? What did you eat for lunch last week on Thursday? You don't remember it. Do you know what you did last Thursday? Unless it's a significant event, you don't even remember what you did last week on Thursday. You may not even remember what you did yesterday. So if you go back and look at your past, you only remember a small portion of what has happened that it's still in your memory. So there is no record of it. It not, it's, it hasn't been videotaped. It hasn't been recorded. Yes, I know you can come and say, well, it's in the Akasha records. But I understand that. But you don't have access to it. It's not like you put a disk into your computer and you can watch the DVD of it whatever it is, the video, the DVD, the tape. So where, where is your past? Where is your past? This past that you're very attached to and you get very excited about it, you cry about it, you get prejudice about it, you got, get very gone ho where, where is it? Or even the past of your country, where is the history? Where is any of it? 100 years ago, what happened 100 years ago? You don't know what happened 100 years ago, you don't have a clue. You weren't here 100 years ago. What you know is what you read from the books or videos or whatever of 100 years ago. But you don't know if it's true or not. You don't know if it's fabricated or not. Or 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago. None of it you know anything about except what evidence is being presented to you today from the past. But you don't know if it's true or not. You're only trusting that is true, but you have no idea. This is not your direct experience. You don't know if it's real or not. But you're very gone ho about it. You're really willing to fight for, for this, for your past, for your country, for your ideas, for your prejudice, whatever that is that it is like that, but you don't know because you can't really remember your own past.